friends. So you will get the first look with me of the client's house. She did tell me she did a lot of work last night and today, this morning before she went to work. So let's see. She did label some clothes for me. Okay, not too bad for that. <clears throat> Okay, now she did leave me a list. Clean kitchen, put dishes away, clean counter and stove, do floors, put sodas and juice away, rest the kitchen, the living room, put clothes away, straighten up the couch, straighten up the shoe rack and bikes, which is that. Vacuum, clean bath, there we go. Alright, so let's get started with, I think the worst of it is the kitchen. So let's do that. I don't think I've ever seen milk turn it's not clear but it's almost there don't think I've ever seen that Hey guys, so I wanted to touch base with a few of the comments that I have received about running the water the whole time while I'm doing the dishes. Um, it is just my preference not to fill the sink up with water and have the dishes sit in it. To me, that is dirty water. It's gross. So I will just run the water and wash the dishes. And... If it needs scrubbed or soaked, I will fill it with hot water and soap and put it to the side and let it soak while I do the rest of the dishes and then I will come back to it. But like I said, it is just my preference on how I prefer to do the dishes.
So I had the comment about not getting any family photos in the view of the camera. And I work really hard trying not to get them in the view. That's why you, sometimes you'll see my camera placed in very odd spots to get these views. I will never ever intentionally embarrass a client in no way shape or form. You never know what someone is dealing with and why they need this little extra help or anything like that. So just always remember to be kind.
So here in a minute, I will show you a glimpse into both of their bedrooms and why their living situation is the way it is and why there's an air mattress actually in their living room and they're not using their bedrooms as technically bedrooms. They are storage. This is her bedroom, but as you can see, it is mainly all storage. These are like her holiday totes and her holiday decor and um, her keepsakes. Her sister is having a baby, so she's been collecting baby things for the baby shower. Um, and this is where she puts her clothes. Well... I put them there so this is her room and then over here is me where's the light where's the light um try to get in here as much as I can this is her son's room now it looks like there's a lot of clothes but that's his dresser and these were his clothes all the rest of this though is toys like he has a loft bed with a slide and all under the bed is toys now I have personally come in here and I've cleaned this entire room once organized it put all the toys under the bed all that was cleaned out she allowed him to come in here and pick what he wanted and what he didn't. He got rid of maybe I'd say a Walmart size bag of toys. The rest he kept. Um, so I lined it up here and all under his bed to where he did have this open area to play in. But as you can see, that is no longer the situation here. Um, her room now I did vacuum Ugh, I did have it ow to where it was we went through because none of these totes were here it was all just boxes of everything we did go through and I put everything in totes for her, and I labeled the totes of what was in there and then you really can't see but back here are some more totes totes um and then from like this section all the way out and from the totes and all this was actually clean so there was not the whole room but there was a decent amount of area to walk in um she did purchase these for her clothes because they were in baskets and that's how they were getting their clothes out um we did have to replace this once because the first one already broke. Um, so these are their rooms. So this is technically why they do not use their rooms. Because it is just technically storage at the moment. And then that is why they're sleeping on the bed in the living room. And these toys right here. Hold on, let me get over there. Just so much. Oh, for the love of Pete. Okay, now I'm over here. These toys. Um, this what he did have like a toy box here. And these are all his keep, don't go in the room, mostly play with toys. But it just keeps kind of piling up and piling up. But I can't really put them away. I kind of can't really do nothing with the toys in the room so that is just the gist of what is going on here um i need to put these bags away and i still need to clean the bathroom um vacuum i still need to clean 
the bed off. I need to hit that couch and try to see what's going on with it. But so far, she wanted the shoe rack and all that area clean and the kitchen. So far, I was able to do that. It don't look like it, but it is clean to the best of my abilities. Well, okay, scratch that. It's not clean to my, the best of my abilities, but it's the best of my abilities in this situation that I have. Um, as long as she comes home to... Uh, mm, let me think. As long as she comes home and she's able to walk around and get to what she needs and he has a spot to sit and watch TV or play his little game, she's okay with that. And I would love to be able to go in here and get rid of literally, I want to say 65% of the stuff for her so it can actually be managed and maintained a lot better. But I really can't because not that she is a hoarder per se in the hoarder aspect, but she is and she has a very hard time getting rid of things most of the time. But her son 100% is a hoarder and he hoards everything, hence the bedroom. So that's just a little overview of what is going on in this situation of this house. let me touch base on some of the comments that I have received about using the toilet brush to clean the outside or the rim of the toilet. Um, in my eyes, the whole toilet is full of germs. You know, the inside, the outside, no matter where. So if it needs scrubbed, I will use the toilet brush to scrub the toilet. As you can see, the inside of the toilet is actually really not that dirty. I mean, if it was full of nastiness, then no, I wouldn't. But then I also do over top of it, once I do the scrub, I do go over top of it with a Clorox spray and wipe it all down afterwards. So it's not like I'm leaving the dirty remnants of the inside of the toilet bowl on the outside.
and for some people who are going to ask why I use a bucket and a thing to clean the sink and not just the water from the sink, her water does not work. That's the most I get from it. And her sink, it does not work at least. So I have to use the bucket to scrub. <laughs> 